Welcome to Five Minutes Ago, a show we wrote, well, five minutes ago. To infinity and beyond! With our hosts, Lincoln Crockett, Michelle Zhang, Sergio Castillo, and Allie Landry. With this week's guest host, Jess Garon. Fasten the seatbelts. Hey everyone, welcome to Five Minutes Ago. And a special welcome to our guest host this week, Junior Jessica Rung, one of Belmont's finest Taekwondo specialists. Thanks for having me. What is your favorite part of the Taekwondo experience? Definitely getting the wind knocked out of me. Well, I gotta say, although I retired as a yellow belt, I always wanted to break some wooden pallets. And now for our announcements. Congratulations to all of the Marauders of the Week since our last episode. Shani Getz, Alexander Sarkardis, Alden Barnes, Cecilia De La Fuente, Jacqueline Ryan, and Eric Rosenmeier. We would like to thank the BHS PTSO for their generous grants, which allowed us to upgrade the five minutes ago audio equipment. Graduation will take place on Harris Field on Saturday, June 4th at 10 a.m. The rain day will be Sunday, June 5th at 10 a.m. Mr. Taylor's family email includes important information regarding the event and the number of tickets each senior will be given. Seniors, the all-night party will take place on June 4th. Tickets will be available for purchase in school May 4th through 6th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the cafeteria. The cost is $40 and all checks need to be made out to Belmont High School Senior Graduation AMP. Interested in teaching a class or hosting a seminar on your favorite topic? Belmont Free Lessons is recruiting instructors for summer 2022. We're looking for high school students to teach free classes to elementary and middle school students in exchange for community service, prep time included. Email info at belmontfreelessons.org for more information. The English Language Education Department is looking for high school volunteers to be teacher assistants at the Wimbrook, Wellington, and Chenery locations for anywhere from one to five weeks for the ELE summer camps. More information in an application form can be found in the, in the description. And now for our sports announcements. This week, we are spotlighting the girls and boys lacrosse team. The boys came back against Waltham, beating them 8-6 after having been down 3-0 earlier in the game. Also, against Watertown, senior Aubrey Tulanian scored seven goals. The girls' team is currently 4-2, but have won all their four Middlesex League games. Both teams have a game this afternoon, so make sure to cheer them on alongside all of our other teams. The schedule is in the description and on our Instagram. And now for our arts announcements. Please join us for the Belmont Public Schools Visual Arts Department K-12 Art Show on display at Belmont High School. This exhibit will feature a small selection of art pieces that showcase students in grades K-12. Although not all students will have work in the show, the exhibition will reflect the curriculum that all students in the Belmont Visual Arts Program have and will experience. Please join your Belmont Art Educators to celebrate this great work. The show will run from May 2nd to 6th with a reception on Tuesday, May 3rd from 5 to 8 p.m. Additionally, this weekend on Friday and Saturday, the performing arts groups in Belmont present the Pops Concerts. Tickets are $10 for students and $15 for adults. Come see these concerts you don't want to miss. For our new special segment, we went 1980s public access style. Oh, welcome to Hall Pass. It's the show where I get a free pass to interview teachers in the hall. Uh, I'm your host, Eric Rosenmeyer. Now, before we start, um, do you have like a volume button or something? I just, you're pretty loud. I, I whisper like thunder. Okay, I see. Where's the mic? This, this is kind of bothering me. Here, oh. will you hold this for a second? The whole time or just? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Shedding all over me. <sighs> let it go, let it go, let it go. You often proclaimed your love for uh, sugary breakfast cereal. My question is, when are you going to graduate from second grade? I like to think of myself as like a uh, part five-year-old. And so yes, uh, the sugary breakfast cereal is uh, something I partake in daily. You often seem to be very happy. Who did this to you? Mm -hmm. uh, glass half full, mm -hmm. always look on the bright side of life, mm -hmm. yeah. Who do you think would be a better math teacher? Count Chocula or the Lucky Charms Leprechaun? Well, I don't think, does Count Chocula even exist anymore? So I'm gonna have to go with the Lucky Charms person. Mm -hmm. Who would win in a fight, multiplication or division? Like Hypothetically, fight, you know, throw down, Well, Kishu throws a jab, he counters back, throws a punch, and they're both out at the same time. It's oh. a tie. Kind of disappointing, that's fine. Do you know why Pi had his license revoked? Because it didn't know where to stop. It's a Pi joke. If you had to be a number, which one would it be? I would be E, because I'm irrational. 
I'm less than 10. Okay, keep going. Greater yeah. than zero. Yeah, I'm, I'm positive. Listening. And... Yeah, what's up, man? No, I can talk right now. I keep going, I'm listening. I'm listening. And, um... No, your own battles, man, I'm sorry. All right, bye. Given that you teach math to teenagers, yes. shouldn't you be, like, less happy? You know, Math is a hoot. You, you know what they say? Time flies when you're doing math. I've been in your math class. Time did not fly. If you could create a completely new number, what would you call it? Well, I don't want to name it after myself because that would be pretentious. Yeah, it would be. So I'd probably name it something like... Woo! Like, imagine you're in class and like the teacher's writing on the board and it's like five plus... Woo! And every time they have to say that, or the students have to say that. Do you think you'll be really old someday and just think... Math? Uh, no, I don't think I was, I think I'm thinking back, I'm thinking like, really? Math! Like that, hmm. with more of an exclamation point than a question mark. Okay. Oh. <sighs> well, that's our show. That's our Wait, show. That, that's the show? That's the show. Anyways, I guess, uh, here's your plan. Oh, you can keep it. Well, I know I thoroughly enjoyed that. And we would like to send out a very special thank you to Mr. Moresco, who was willing to pilot this segment with us. Two weeks ago, we asked you if orange juice or apple juice was better, and we got some great responses. Here are the top three. At number three, orange juice, because it's the only juice that has both taste and texture. Number two, I don't feel like I want to throw up that much when I drink apple juice after brushing my teeth. And at number one, we have gravity was discovered thanks to an apple. This was a close one, folks, but apple juice wins with 52.5%. This week, we want to know what your favorite type of chocolate is, dark, milk, or white. What do you think, Jess? My favorite is milk chocolate. You can never go wrong with that, Jess. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. I've had a great time. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at 5 minutes ago underscore BHS. Also, hit the QR code on screen to find the question of the week. This interview has been kind of awkward. Mm. Um, I wanted to uh, apologize. I think I dropped him off at the uh, town forest several weeks ago. He was uh, squatting in my attic. And uh, we had it up as a family. So I, I drove him to the town forest. I told him don't come back. I've been in your math class. Time did not fly. <sighs> wow. Sorry, I'm broken. <laughs> that was too mean. That was too mean. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> That's good. Nobody's ever gonna Keep it. <laughs> Keep it. Keep it. <laughs> this is all in fun. We'll call it Woo! So that every time someone has to use the number, they have to yell like that. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting at all. I'm sorry. Five plus Woo! And every time you have to do that, <laughs> the, the whole class. The echo in the hallway. <laughs> Ground control to Major Tom. <laughs> Should I just... That's, this is... this. Well, thank you. Thank you again. Then.